Would you do a bulk price if I just bought all the video games? My husband would, yes. Yeah? And he's at work and he'll feed back. Hey guys, it is Thursday, August 20th, and today I am hitting the historic Route 40 yard sale. Unlike the 127 sale uh, that runs north south, this goes east west. Um, it goes from Maryland to Illinois, I'm pretty sure. So, not as long as the 127 sale, but a lot of fun. It's been five years since I've done this sale, but I remember finding some good stuff. And it's a beautiful day, so I'm hoping there's a lot of sales in this room. I am meeting up with my buddy Jared. He's going to go alongside with me. Uh, he does the sale every year. I think he normally sets up as a seller. But this year, instead of selling, he decided to do a little bit of shopping. He's an eBay seller as well, so hopefully both of us can find some stuff to flip and make some money on today. What's up, buddy? Hello, sir. Got my Ikea bag. Awesome. Ready You're prepared. Ready to go? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Oh, hey, what's going on, Jared? Herman's Hermits. How's it going, man? Good. Uh, John, nice uh, to meet you. Have you been up the street? No, we're at... Up the street, I don't even know if it's marked anywhere, but if you just go straight up the street, you'll see a sign. Maybe two minutes. They've got a ton of old 45. Really? Yeah, a ton of records. Just cool. Sailed right next to each other. Awesome. Thanks, man. Did you look through those leather tube boxes? Got a whole bag full here. Good. All right. Okay. Let's see. Wasn't sure what the clothing prices were. The uh, sweaters, it said uh, sweaters are two bucks. Okay. Sweaters and shirts. So we'll go two, four, six. Oh, you made it easy. <laughs> Let's see, I got uh, records 23, 23, 25, and then a set of books. So the hardcover books were. I think just mm -hmm. some, what, what, what do we have a buck on that? I don't, uh, yeah, I don't Is that right? About 26? Yeah. Sounds good, thank you. Well, that's a nice heavy bag to be able to yeah. get this much weight. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. It's all right, I'm going to set it down right here oh, and go look over there. Sure. Let's see what you've got. I mean, we've got some soldiers there. Too. All righty. Thank you, sir. Right Appreciate it. I'll be right back.
All right, I owe you five you for these. Stuff. I did, yeah. I wondered yeah. if somebody would. <laughs> yeah, and then um, how much are your golf clubs? Uh, actually, they had that whole bag at five bucks, I think. Okay, I'll do a dollar on this. There, right? yeah, okay. It was all mismatched stuff, so. All right, six bucks, and that's yours, right? Yeah. You need help? Uh, I think I got it. I'm just right there. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Thank sir. you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, bud. You the greener? You the greener? Oh, you're so pretty. Those are cool. Nine dollars. Bottom's kind of coming out a little bit. How's it going? Body cam on. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Really? Yeah, I go around the garage sales and find stuff. Cool. I think people like to vicariously like, shop through me, especially now that you, everybody's stuck at home. Was this like a store display or something? Yeah, it, it, it's uh, got a motion detector on it. I haven't figured out what, when it decides to go on, but it will. That's cool. Randomly. Huh? The bottom right. I'll take this. Oh, okay. Two dollar box. Thank you. Great. Thanks for coming. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Did you do fifteen for both? She's pretty serious about the Star Trek one, so they're my sons. He said to put ten on them. Okay. Sorry. Um I'll still take them. There you go. Okay. Thanks, sir. Oh, I sure do appreciate it. He'll appreciate it too. He's trying to buy a house. Oh, cool. I'll take your um, clock radio here too. Hey, I haven't plugged it in. If you want to try it, no big deal. I mean, for a buck, it's. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. Morning. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. You get your sign here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you guys. No problem. How much is this? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. How much are your pulleys? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I do thirty-five on both of them. Well, yeah, that's what twenty and fifteen is. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my brain is 30 no, right. for both, 30 for both, both of them. Alright, I'll think about it. Thank you. Morning.
What'd you do five on that? I can do seven. Seven. I'll buy it. Okay. Do you know if this works? Oh. You don't have to test it. I just thought I'd ask. I'll buy it for five bucks. Yeah. Let me just say that it worked the last time I saw it. Okay. <laughs> there okay. you go. So, thank you. Thank you so much. How much are your DSs? Well, they're different prices. Um, which one are you interested in? Actually, how about your little Game Boy Pocket? They are 40. 40 for the Game Boy Pocket? Mm -hmm. Yep. You got a big tote of games back there too, don't you? I do. My husband has to go through all this. You sell he on, does all this and this. You sell on eBay? No. No. This is our churchyard sale. Oh, wow. So we get stuff donated from everybody. And my husband, yeah. you know, does what he does with it. Would you do a bulk price if I just bought all the video games? My husband would, yes. Yeah. And he's at work and he'll feed back. He'll be back probably... Three, maybe? Okay, I drove up from Cincinnati, so. Oh, well, yeah. I can call him. Yeah, give him a call. See what you do for all the video games. Like everything in here, or yeah, like I see the ones you got behind you there. Um, not the knives, right? But like the video games, those video games. Like, I'd make an offer for all of them. So I have a guy here, and he's interested in a bulk price on your video. The systems or just the games? Both. Both. Yeah on everything that you have. Yes, your games and what's in the case. Yes. Not the knives. That looks like you have two Game Boys. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven DS's. Well, DS lights, DSI's, they're all the same to me. I get it. Now, I don't have chargers for the DS's. That's that fine. Right? Yeah. Are you talking about all these two? And then the tote, yeah. Oh, he's, he's wanting your tote over here, too. If you're going to be in the area, can you stop back by in about 20 minutes? Let me get your number, actually. Okay. What's your name? I'll give you my husband's number. His name is Dale. Uh huh. All right, guys, I'm heading back to that garage sale for all the video games. The lady was talking to her husband. He couldn't come up with the price. She gave me his number, and I called and talked to him. He said 400 bucks for everything. I tried to counter like 300, 350, and he wasn't really having it. He's sticking at 400. And I'm not sure if the value's there or not. Like there was five or six DSs and a couple Game Boys, um, but besides that, I'm not sure what games are in there. So there was a whole tote of like Wii games. I already saw the N64 games and they weren't anything that special. So I'm gonna go back and see if it's worth 400 bucks and maybe just buy it all. All right, this deal just got really shady. The guy just calls me back and I guess he's at work or something. And he's like, wait for me, I'll be there in 45 minutes. And we're like out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm not gonna wait 45 minutes. I was like, I'll do the deal at 400, you know what I mean? Like all I wanted to do was look through the extra bin of games behind the table because I didn't know what was in there and that's part of the deal and he's just he's just not having it so he says he's gonna call me right back the guy's being really shady and just strange so i don't i don't feel too great about the deal right now i'm waiting to hear back from him uh if i can look through the games and it's worth it i may go ahead and do it but i'd say it's probably not gonna happen i'm back my husband just called me he said he's actually gonna come back so he was saying like 12 30 or something he'd be back yeah am i allowed to look through the other games um, you can look through them yeah. if you want. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, but he'll be back to do the final whatever. Okay. You, okay? Where's the where's you the can tell? Come sit here. Alright, I think we're gonna pass on it, but thank you so much. Okay.
Thank you. Good luck You're at welcome. the sale. All righty, thank you. You didn't want any of the systems either? I don't think so, no. No? Okay. Nope. Thanks. Thank you. Back at the warehouse, and I found a ton of really good stuff today. I'll start down here. These are some floor mats for a Dodge Grand Caravan. They are OEM, and I think there's like six of them total. I paid $5 for those. I've done really well with OEM floor mats. I'm thinking at least 50, 60 bucks for the set. Um, down here is a phone. This is caption call. I think it's like hearing impaired phone. Paid five dollars for that. There's a bag of random clothing and stuff. There's a Rick Patino sweatshirt, uh, Tweety Bird like sleeper with pants, uh, Coca Cola. What is this? Polar Bear sweatshirt. That was all twenty five cents a piece. And then I got a McDonald's radio. Paid five dollars for that. That might not have been a great buy. And then in here. I dig this out here. This is a Funai VCR. Paid three dollars. Does not have the remote, but I think I'll still get thirty or forty bucks for it. That's a pretty good brand of VCRs to sell. I got three models. Uh, two of them at one sale, and one of them at another sale. I paid ten a piece for these Star Trek ones. I usually don't mess with these, but they were sealed in the plastic, so I think they'll bring forty or fifty dollars each. And then this one is. An F-15 Strike Eagle. I paid seven for this one. I think it'll bring about 25. Got a bag of old postcards for two bucks. Found this um, Panasonic uh, Flip number alarm clock radio. I rarely find these, but these things do really well. If you can find any old clock radios that have those numbers that flip down. Got this Disney DVD player. Uh, this is actually the base for, I think it was a Disney um, Mickey Mouse television. I think this sits underneath it. I think that's why it's got these uh, little indentations for that. Paid $5 for it. Doesn't have the remote, but I should get $40 or so, I think. Got some Barbies at one sale. Honestly, I think I probably overpaid for these. I didn't look them up at the time. I got four of them for $35, so I'm into them just under $9 each. There is Ski Fun Barbie, Astronaut Barbie, Hot Skate and Ken, and Army Barbie. Got this um, Fujifilm camera docking station for a dollar. That's still new in the uh, packaging in there. Got a uh, Ping sand wedge or lob wedge, I guess. That was a buck. Got a Polaroid camera for three. This was also three. This is going in my antique booth. Just thought that was a really cool piece, 10 point club. And then back in here on the cart, I got some more stuff. Got a big stack of records. I think I maybe paid about 15 or 20 for all those. They were all different price. Some were a buck, some were 50 cents. Got these headphones, wireless headphones, new in the packaging for four bucks. Uh, clothing at this church sale was two dollars each. I got, what is this? Carolina Panthers Pro Line Pullover Reebok. This brand right here I'd never seen before, but it looked interesting. Bulwark Protective Apparel. And then on the sleeve it says Bulwark FR. So I bought that. And this was an Air Jordan zip-up hoodie. And it says Air Jordan on the little tag there. It says Shining Star. This might be some kind of like local basketball program or something. So I'm not sure if that was a good buy or not. Got um, NFL Blitz on 64 for a dollar. Got this autographed OAR concert DVD. Or maybe it's a CD. Um, this, I don't even know what this is. Some kind of phone, I think. Either a wireless phone or cordless phone that was two bucks and then i got a big set of mcat study books uh for a dollar at that church sale i didn't end up buying those video games for four hundred dollars um they let me look through the bin of all the wii games and everything else and there were some okay games in there but i just don't think there was any money to be made i could have got you know maybe 300 to 400 for all the ds i's and ds's and the Game Boys and all that stuff, but I just don't think there was a whole lot of profit there really, so I decided to pass on it. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.